The beauty of democracy is inclusive participation in electoral processes. Doing this, however, involves providing a level playing ground for aspirants at all levels to contest elections into public offices. It is in the light of this that the All Progressives Congress Party, APC, in Borno State provided the needed opportunity for 23 governorship aspirants during the indirect gubernatorial primary election held on Sunday, 30 September 2018 at El Kenemi Warrior Sports Center, Meduguri. The indirect governorship primary election of the APC witnessed large turnout of delegates from the 27 local government areas of Borno State and critical stakeholders of the party. More than 5,000 delegates from the 27 local governments across the state took part in the election. Processes for the election began with the accreditation of delegates, which lasted from morning till early part of Sunday night. Delegates were transported into the venue and seated in order of their local government areas. Chairman of the election panel from Abuja began by reading out modalities for the election. We will provide a level playing ground for every aspirant. We want to ensure that we are poor aspirant that touch the game. We are going to ensure that we are poor and agai anam masu adelchi. The mutazu mufara tete na wa mizona de enta kerekedi bora nda Allah basi dama sika halata mimi mungu mude su mufara dama sika idu juu na zamia dza ai mume yana musu ai kila kutoa mui mufara dama sika idu abu basi sika sanchi kuma ana wana dama muzi dama mai watari dama abu bana muka fara abu bana dza ai ba ba abu bana au nukua ana akwe borno south akwe borno north akwe borno central to mumbada Ora dan accreditation dzabi, kazo attention check about kati dzabi, kumaga aini apati dzabi, mtini ya sa aindi geda maisha. Ten aspirants during their presentations before delegates announced their voluntary withdrawal from the race, declaring support for one aspirant, Professor Babagana Umarazulum, who was Borno State Commissioner for Reconstruction, Rehabilitation and Resettlement. Muzo mto kishawa na chewa, dale yao muda na mbali kwa muda na sarafa. Sopo na hara, muina zaidi chewa, miingi ni soka. Kuma na soka na barfi ni na barfi jana na ma. Kwa sa, baba kana kwa rasulu. Muingi ma ni chewa, kwa na mshaya. Nada ma. Professor, I am one of the aspirants seeking uh, to contest under uh, the promotion of Borno State. Uh, I would like to align with my previous colleagues, that is the, uh, the former speakers. That is the Mokakiali and also the former the Professor I should do Allah ibadu lafiyah, dasamu lafiyah. 
kasar bodo kurno. Allah esa ayah ayam dulu. Ini dulu macam Allah ya. Aku ayam aku macam dia jual sahaja. Representing 70% of the 21 aspirants were present at the venue of the primaries. With the withdrawal of 10 aspirants, the contest was left between five contestants. <laughs> Chairman of the Electoral Panel announced before voting that since his committee did not receive any letter of withdrawal from the six aspirants, the Electoral Panel was regarding them as contestants 
Jerusalem delegates, they could still vote for any of them. The voting went on in an orderly manner with delegates from local government areas called according to their geopolitical zones, namely Borno Central, Borno North, and Southern Borno. The voting lasted throughout the night with participants, including Governor of Borno State, Kajim Shetima, seated all through at the venue. Collating and sorting of ballot papers began on Monday morning with keen observation by agents of all aspirants. Each aspirant nominated three agents. At the end of the collation, votes were counted in the presence of all delegates and other participants. With counting completed, chairman of the panel announced the results. The final events culminating to the conclusion of this primary elections. I, Ahmed El Rizuk, being the chairman of the Borno State APC Ontario Primary Elections, we hereby announce the results as contested. The votes that we found to be invalid were 317 invalid votes. And the contestants scored as follows. Kashim Imam scored 20 votes. Mustafa Babashehu, one vote. Baba Ahmed one vote. Atom, Majidira Atom, one vote. Idris Maman scored 114 votes. Gambola one scored two votes. Umar Al-Kali, zero votes. Baba Jato, zero votes. Honorable Gumaria, zero votes. Professor Baba Gana Umara, Four thousand four hundred and thirty two votes. My Excellency, on behalf of my committee, I hereby declare Professor Fagina Umara as the candidate who scored the highest number of votes in this exercise. Therefore, Professor Babaka Amara is hereby returned as the APC gubernatorial candidate to the general elections of 2019. Thank you, Your Excellency. Thank you, everybody. And congratulations to the APC and all the other contestants. Former Commissioner for Ministry of Reconstruction, Rehabilitation and Resettlement, Professor Babagana Umara Zulum, emerged overall winner. Governor Kashim Chetima congratulated Professor Zulum for the landslide victory and applauded other contestants for accepting defeat. <laughs> Assalamu alaikum. 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 Assalamu alaikum.
I'm equally overwhelmed by the outpouring of support and empathy for our candidate. From across the length and breadth of the state, people came out in a peaceful atmosphere to exercise their franchise within our APC family. Most importantly, we all belong to the same political family. We might have hiccups in our relationship, but 15 of the candidates participated in the exercise. 10 of them voluntarily stepped aside for Professor Umar Azulum. A very moving spectacle. And the whole exercise is conducted in an atmosphere of peace and tranquility without any rancor, without any bitterness. If you hear stories from some parts of the country of people kicking ballot boxes all over the places, I think there is cause for celebration, whichever way the pendulum swings. Actually, the number of aspirants in Borno that has surpassed were 20. 15 elected opted to take part in this exercise. Five of them decided not to participate in the exercise. We cannot compel anyone to partake in an exercise which those of you from the press can give testimony is free and fair. So maybe, maybe for reasons based known to them, I don't want to preempt the reasons they have adduced for their non-participation. But this is largely a testimony, a reflection of the quest for supremacy by the so-called, to borrow the words of Senator Ndume, the foreign base players who want to exert an undue influence over the electoral process. People that are not on ground, truly, Honestly, from the bottom of my heart, those that did not participate are actually not on ground. But then we have to give it to them, we'll call on them to shift the sword for the good of our party, for the good of our state, because we cannot afford to fight each other when we are just getting out of the Boko Haram crisis. So I wish to implore on them, as our elder brothers, as our elder statesmen, to shift the sword and join us in rebuilding Borno. I have to respect them. I hold them in the highest esteem in their own ways that contributed to the growth of our society. And I have a moral obligation not to implant passion, but to call on them to join us in moving Borno forward. Babagana Umar Zulum, in an acceptance remark, expressed gratitude to members of APC in the state for providing an enabling environment for governorship aspirants and a short to consolidate major achievements recorded by the present administration of Governor Kashim Shatima. <laughs>